Hey everyone, welcome back. Thanks for joining me again. My name is Sharon. So in all the years that I've been teaching English as a second language, I've heard a lot of different kinds of errors. And so what I want to do today is go over some of the most, one of the most common errors that students make in English. Um, and so what I'm focusing on is word order in WH questions versus noun clauses. So let's get right into it. So I'm going to give you some example sentences and I want you to think if you can figure out what the problem is. I don't know what should I do. Do you see any problem there? How about this sentence? They can learn what do engineers do. It's even difficult for me to say. And finally, our group forgot where did we agree to meet. So take a minute, look at that, and pause the video if you want. And let's go over the answers now. So in that first sentence, I don't know what should I do, the person is combining a WH question order into a sentence. This isn't a question, right? It's not, there's a period. And so we don't have the word order of should I do. Since this is a statement, we're going to reverse should and I. So it should look differently. I'll bring the answers up on the next slide. Um, let's look at this one. They can learn what do engineers do. So again, it's the word order for a question, but we're not asking a question. So we don't need this word order with the do. We're going to get rid of that. And on the next slide, I'll show you the answers. And finally, in the third one, our group forgot where did we agree to meet. Again, it's not a question, so we don't have this word order that we see there. So what we do see is, I don't know what I should do. And um, let's see here, this part here, what I should do, this is called a noun clause. So if you're an intermediate learner of English, you are very used to seeing uh, WH words like who, what, where, when at the beginning of a sentence to make a question. And your brain wants to move verbs around to make a question. Um, but intermediate and advanced learners are starting to understand that we use noun clauses sometimes. And in a noun clause, we use a different word order. In the second sentence, we're going to change that to they can learn what engineers do. And in our last sentence, we are going to see our group forgot where we agreed to meet. So let's look more closely at some rules for this. Um, think about what you've heard. I'll bring myself up here for a minute. Think of all of the things that you've heard people say, and you've heard them say things. What I mean is, what she said was, what you need to do is. We don't hear what mean I is, or what said she was. We don't hear that. So I want you to draw upon the things that you've heard English speakers say to you as we go forward into um, the rules. So let's take a look at those rules. So with questions, um, we have we have our WH words at the beginning of a sentence. So what comes first or wh who or when, followed by an auxiliary or a modal or do, plus the subject plus the verb and then you have the rest of the sentence. A noun clause is different though. A noun clause can be at any part of the sentence. It can be at the beginning, it could be in the middle, it could be the last part of the sentence. And the reason that it can be in all these different places is because a noun clause can also be an object. It doesn't have to be just a subject. And the, the rules for the word order of a noun clause are a little different. 
So if you can take a look at the colors I have here. So I have our WH word, sorry, our WH words in red, right? And you see it over here also. It's gonna be the first word. But what comes after that is different. So in a question word, you're used to seeing that you need to move forward an auxiliary verb or move your modal forward or um, if you have a non-be verb, you're going to add do. But that's different than a noun clause. In a noun clause, you don't, you see there's, there's nothing like that over here. There's no purple area over here. What comes next is the subject. Okay, so that's the main difference between questions and noun clauses in terms of word order. Um, and I'll add here that um, what I mean by tense is, um, oh, that's actually not true. Um, ha ha ha, no, this has the tense, sorry. Um, so your do is going to carry um, past tense, you could have did there. Um, or if you had like present, um, present perfect, you would have, um, have, have here instead of do. Um, so I'm getting pretty general um, with this word order right now because uh, the word order in questions is really complex. So I don't want to go over all the rules right now. But just in general, the big difference is that our auxiliary and our modal and our do are not used in noun clauses. So let me give you some examples of that. So what did you do this weekend? I'm sure you've heard people say that a number of times, and that's how it looks when I break it down into the parts. Where will you move after graduation? Ah, this one's interesting. Who can cook dinner tonight? What's interesting about the word who is that not only is it our WH word, it also serves as the subject of the sentence. So that's how who is really special. This is our subject in this sentence. Okay. And now for some examples for noun clauses. What I want to do is go over the directions. So I'm sure you've heard your teacher say something like that or I remember what you said yesterday, or, oh, whoever likes candy, raise your hand. So again, this is an example um, of a WH word that is not only the WH word, but it's also the subject of this sentence. So now let's do some practice. Bring myself, oops, sorry. Go away, I don't want you. Okay. All right, so is it correct or incorrect? I'm gonna start with some pretty simple ones just to make sure you understand what's going on. I don't know who left their book in the room. What do you think? Is that correct or incorrect? This is correct. I don't know who left, so this is our subject, this is our verb. We don't put left first, we don't add a do, okay? Next one, what I like to study is math. Correct or incorrect? This one is also correct. So we have subject and verb there and our WH word here. She doesn't know where did he go. What do you think? This one is not correct. So this one has the problem of um, an extra do. We don't need this. She doesn't know where he went. Okay, this is going to have our tense. Our tense is not going to be on a do, um, a do word. It's going to be on the actual verb. She doesn't know where he went. So this one was incorrect. Whoever makes a mess should clean it up. Favorite rule around my house. Um, is this a correct or incorrect? This is correct. So we have um, our subject and our verb. And you'll notice all of these, these are all noun clauses. None of these are questions, right? It's 
So I made that pretty easy. Let's do some harder ones now. You're up for it, right? All right. What I do mean is that you can finish it later. What do you think? It's definitely a problem here. We have the right word order, but we do not need this extra do. No reason to have it. What I mean is that you can finish it later. That's enough. How about this one? Write a plan for what you want to write in your essay. What do you think? This one is okay. So here's our noun clause. I should um, underline our noun clause here. Oh, not that, not the verb. Um, write a plan what you want to write. Um, so we have our subject and our verb and our WH word there. So this one was incorrect. This is correct. It's difficult to explain what you should do without knowing what are your teacher's expectations. Oh, kind of a complex sentence. Now this one we have actually two noun clauses in. Let's identify them. The first one is right here what you should do. Do you see the other one? It's right here. Now again, neither of these are questions, right? So what you should do, that's okay, right? What about this one? What are your teacher's expectations? trying to make a question. We don't do that. This is what um, is a little challenging here is this word comes all the way back here. And this is where intermediate learners of English can get a little confused. They'll say um, they'll forget that R or they'll get confused because so many words come between um, the WH word and the sub and the verb. So what your teacher's expectations are. That's how we say it. And finally, let me know whatever are the cost for the projects. Do you know? So this one um, is also incorrect. Be sure that's on there. Let me know whatever the costs for the projects are. Okay. We do not move this R up before the subject. We keep it after the subject. All right, and finally, bonus points for today. How many noun clauses did I use in this video? If you can list a few, if you can go back and listen to me, list a few in the comments and show me that you can identify a noun clause. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.